Hi, everybody. Welcome to the QB School. I'm JT O'Sullivan. Today, we're looking at Lamar Jackson. And yes, he is that good. Get over it. He's like a video game. The league is going to have to try to adjust to what he's doing, what they're doing in Baltimore, because it is fun. They got a whole different type of run offense, which then breeds this play action, kind of horizontal flat game that they showed off against the Patriots. Beat one of what people were calling one of the best defenses ever. They exposed them. We're going to dive into it. All 22, lots of plays. Let's dive into it. Welcome to the QB school. All right, first play we're looking at is a early third down, third and five. Love Lamar Jackson's kind of pocket presence here. Quick slide, strength in his legs to be able to make this throw down the middle of the field. Guy open, getting through his reads. Not perfect protection. Doesn't matter. He's able to kind of slide, adjust in the pocket, and still make an accurate enough throw. He's just such a strong, big dude in the pocket. Quick little slide right there. Back across. Guy's at his feet, and he's still able to make this throw. That's what just a... Really, really impressive. Grab around the waist. Another guy coming in, be able to give it enough to go make a play, and then his guy goes and makes a play for him. But that's how you live on third down in the league, beat the Patriots. Everybody's seen this one. To me, this is a little bit of out coaching. We'll see it from the back. This is just Lamar Jackson being a freak athlete, being able to do this. Not very many quarterbacks in the league can even do this type of run at the goal line. But we'll look at it scheme-wise here because I know a lot of people love the X's and O's who watch this channel, and I appreciate it too. But this is just math. So you got to look at the New England defense here. There are 11 guys on defense. How you sort this out is if you have five on one side and six on the other, so there's five, here's six over here, and the offense cuts it in half, and they're in a totally balanced look here with what they're trying to do. No, a lot of lines going on here. They're in a totally balanced look. You know that they're going to run to the five side. There's just aren't enough people. So New England needs to get a guy right here. He needs to move this guy right into the middle, and he needs to be responsible to go make this tackle and keep Lamar Jackson out of the out of the end zone. He just he's not going to be able to make that play from the other side of the field. That's why it's such a walk in. It's just math. It's five or six. And they decide to run to the five side, and it's a walk in touchdown because there just aren't enough people to account for a quarterback run. Now, you don't see that getting out coached like that very often, and I am I I would put money on it that it doesn't happen again if they meet. But that's just – that's simple math right there. It doesn't get easier than that. Then I love this little plan they do with this little gun bone thing that they run. This is a really, really cool concept. We'll be able to watch it from the back end, but they take advantage of this a few different times. And really, this is just a variation of kind of like – I have no idea what they call this, but to me, this is just power, almost like a power zone read type play. So you're going to leave the defensive end, and we'll let it play here, and I'll bring it back a few times just because it's 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 a fun concept to watch. We're going to leave the defensive end, and we're going to read him. But we're going to run power from kind of a back end way you could do it. You could almost even call it a counter. So the guy we're leaving is right here. We are reading him if we're playing quarterback. We're going to get reached out here. We're going to get reached out here. Actually, this... So we're reading this guy right here. The essence of this play, they're running power right here. We're getting a double team. It's often called an ace back here to this backside linebacker. We're pulling through. We're normally on a counter. We would come kick out the end. He would come across and kick this out. Instead of that, the backside counter is going to come up and pull through for the first backer. So we're really getting this huge double team back to the backside inside linebacker. We're pulling up through for the first one because we don't have to block him. And because we don't have to block him, we can then block out and we can then start getting up to the second level for the quarterback run. So all we're going to do here from the quarterback position is read this guy. He can't be right. But if he widens at all, it creates this massive hole for the power or the counter, whatever you want to call it, coming from the backside. So you get double team here, pull through here, right there. And we're just going to hand it and they're going to run it. So because he widens, he takes himself out of the play and creates a bigger alley to run this pattern run so we'll watch it a few times just to appreciate this concept but this is this is really cool stuff this is as, as cool as it gets in the run game you won't hear quarterbacks we'll talk about cool run game very often but that's it right there 70 can't be right he widens with the tackle there it is through there big time run one more time just to appreciate it they come back and run in a few different ways double team up nice block all the way around seal really cool but that's because of what Lamar Jackson does. He's got to make the read, but it's also because he's such a threat to run it. 
This is a cool play too. This is just basically they're motioning to this bunch, creating a four by one side and running a flat. Three picks and a flat. Nice throw. Again, Lamar Jackson not making great, you know, down the field reads from the pocket, but they have designed a system to take advantage of what he does well. And he throws these little flats, horizontal throws really accurately, gets it out. So we're just going to get picks. And really, they run a bunch of different variations of these pick plays. And I think it's it's worth talking about because the defense then is stretched horizontally. So it doesn't matter what these guys do. I don't know. They come up and they all run kind of here or through. But this basically is just, it's a one-man read. We're going to come out here and throw a flat. But because this guy's coming from over here, he then has to come across and navigate these three buddies of his to try to come up and make this flat throw. And it's just really hard. It's, it's borderline impossible. They do it a few different ways. This was the first one. Again, just come across, four to a side, flat, easy conversion, third down. Again, you see all these third and manageables, third and shortish, third third and three, third and five. You can, you can convert these things. And he does a great job of throwing these quick little flats. Nice, excellent kind of fundamentals. One step, let it go. Here we go, this little gun bone again. Now, this is, I uh, watched it a few times. I can't tell if they block it incorrectly or because of this pressure. This is the adjustment, but this is a pretty special read kind of ability to even make this type of run. Obviously, not very many quarterbacks in the league have ever been able to do this type of run, but this is the same play to me. And they block it a little bit differently because they get a little pressure. But again, we're reading the end. Now we're just going the other way. So, now we're reading this end, okay? To me, they're still running right here, double team up to here. We're going out, we're going out about here. We're running the alley right here with this player. And because normally the last time this backside 86 came through and led up and blocked him, but because, and I think he blitzes, I'm pretty sure, he then just foregoes it and says, we're, we're going up to the next level. So we'll see it here a few times. Now, this could be a call for that 86 to not block that linebacker, but I'm pretty sure just because he comes inside, they know he's going to pull it, and there it is, out the gate. Either way, whether it's a special call or a read, it's the right read. It's a beautiful call, really well blocked again. And that acceleration, that's just Lamar Jackson. He's just, there are very few dudes ever been able to do that type of run from the quarterback position in the NFL. Really cool, really special. Then again, the the system and the scheme with how they're designing these plays with the different motions, it then because Lamar Jackson is such a threat to run, you then create all these other running lanes. And then you're able to then just create normal, huge gashes out of really simple plays, just an inside zone play that you're able to go out there and get this huge gash because you're not able to close down on the backside. There's no fill element because 53 Van Noy is so terrified of Lamar, Lamar Jackson coming out. He's gonna then slow play it on the way back to this backside to our left on the screen. So all they're gonna run right here is inside zone to the left. So all these guys right here are basically just getting on their tracks, going to the left. And whoever gets in there, they're going to seal it. And they end up, those four guys end up blocking, pretty sure, these four guys right here. But because normally you would want these backside guys to come down and kind of fill or chase, go chase, because they're so terrified that Lamar Jackson's going to come out the backside of any of these things, that they have to stay home. They're not able to then get into the front side run game at all for any sort of support. They do a great job at the offensive line here. There it is, running the tracks. Big block by the center. Big block by their right guard being able to get on the nose, hold him off. Big time reach and then run right off him. Really nice job. Hat on a hat. And then it's just acceleration and go. But that is, it's a combination of great offensive line play, great design. But they're not able to get the fits that they want because Lamar Jackson is such a threat in the run game. And then this is a beautiful throw. This is a bad feeling. This is what New England does to you. Cover zero. So we should know by this point, cover zero, there's no safety back here. This could very easily be a punt rush. I mean, we're going to try to get a punt block here. We can't tell you who's who in the zoo, where they're coming from, who knows. But he ends up making a great throw on a contested corner right here because they get blocked up. He's able to buy enough time with his feet. They have a great scheme here to be able to give him a shot down the field. you got to take some shots down the field. But that's a beautiful throw. That's a perfectly te feathered kind of give your guy a chance on a corner, one-on-one. -on -one. they got to go make a play. But again, when you're playing quarterback right here and you got all these guys standing up at the line of scrimmage, you don't know who's coming. 
You hope that you have a plan to identify who the bigs are. But again, they're all blocked up. They're running a five-man kind of complicated little e, uh, TE to the right with a DB pressure. And we're only bringing five, but it feels like a bunch. And again, we see 31, and almost two spies, 31 and 58 spy in there. But that's a beautiful throw. Kind of like a little sidearm flick. Got a guy right in your face. Not able to step into it, but that's a beautiful, accurate throw outside the numbers with a little touch. I mean, he's throwing the ball at a high level, too. I, I, It's one of those things where it's not like he's making long down the field reads, but he is throwing the ball really well, I think. This is a beautiful fourth down call. Move the pocket. So you're going to move the launch point for the quarterback so they can't just tee off on you. They're in. Again, easy to see. Cover zero. No safety back. They're going to try to heat you up. Just what New England's been doing for the last couple years, a lot of, but again, at the bottom of the screen, we're going to get this switch release, and basically it's a switch release, little comeback, little out. Really nice job. You get that rub, hands go up like, oh, totally by accident. I had no idea I was going to do that. Move the pocket and then throw a strike. Fourth down, really beautiful, accurate throw, on the move, changing the location of the quarterback. Don't let the Patriots tee off on you. Got to make keep them guessing. Nice job by the offensive line, creating the space. Great job by the fundamentals of Lamar, being able to get out there and throw a strike. Here's kind of the special joystick play everybody was talking about. Lamar Jackson, things go wrong. I'll show you kind of what goes wrong here. Just from the concept wise, I'm pretty sure this tight end, the number three, is supposed to go underneath the number two. So what I mean by that is we're right here. When he goes tries to go over the top here, it creates this log jam. I'm pretty sure he's supposed to come out first. Then we'll get the tail back out. But because they kind of get confused at the line of scrimmage, they're then able to create this kind of cluster for Lamar. There's nobody to go. They're right stacked on top of each other. He says no. And then this little move like, yeet, and he's gone. And then I'll show you from the back end. Love this. The center it does a great job blocking, but really the awareness to look at the Jumbotron. I've seen perimeter guys look at the Jumbotron before. Never seen a center look at the Jumbotron before. So again, a little old school T-counter boot, not blocking the end. Got to get the edge. We're going to throw the flat again because the tight end jacks up his release here. It's a cluster. He says no. Then this is pure athleticism. This move is ridiculous. Van Noy wouldn't even get him in two-hand touch. But now we're going to pay attention to the center. So I want everybody to get a chance to watch this because you don't see this very often. You're going to see this. He's going to come out here. He's going to look up. You can see his eyes up. I don't do a great job with the drawing. Up at the Jumbotron. That's out of the screen right here, way above kind of the stands right here and he's able to then as soon as he sees Lamar run he's then able to engage and get into a block and pancake some cat right on the sideline this is like second level third level fourth level master's class o-line right there that little glance up he's he's he sees 70 coming but he looks up right there jumbotron oh there he is he's right behind me boom and that's not a db's hitting that's a defensive lineman in the nfl so this is the type of little nuance detail that I love to provide to the YouTube community right here. Just a little that little up right there. Watch it one more time because this is really cool. Comes out, protection, looks up. He's right behind me. Boom, pancake. Just ridiculous. So the combination of athleticism and what the Ravens are doing kind of holistically as an offense, building this stuff around Lamar Jackson is really cool. Again, this was one of my favorite plays by him, too. This is a full field read, a little play action. Again, trying to throw flat. Comes back, not there. Middle, not there. All the way to his left. Beautiful strike. Same area of the field they're attacking, that horizontal space, kind of in the flats. But again, that's a great read and throw. Nice fundamentally able to go from right to left all the way across the field with a play action fake in the red zone. Tight window. No, no. Yes. All the way across. Strike. Really beautiful job. And so it's, this is kind of the combination. And you see the kind of compound uh, effect of being able to have a full plan to take advantage of Lamar Jackson's skill set. Again, this is a beautifully designed play. A little pick, flat play. I'll show it all the way from the, from the top here. This little motion in. We see the Patriots do this all the time. We're going to motion the back end. Linebacker goes out on him. We know it's man. We're now going to get two picks up top. Just a really simple, clean play. So the back starts out here, comes in right here. We're going to come in, run a, this little flat route, and we're going to get two picks by the number three, by the number two, and it's wide open, really tough to run through. Again, their game about how they create these flat opportunities to take advantage of all the main coverage they see 
because they need extra guys in the box to take care of the run game. And then you got to make that open field tackle, obviously. But that's a that to me is the is the combination. Great scheme, great play calling, great execution, doing what Lamar Jackson does well right now, throwing these little flats, getting the ball to his guy in space. Here we go. We'll see that sneak flat kind of through the center guard gap. Not the same as like a normal flat route, really hard to cover. Come in there, rub over the top, rub underneath. And you got to go make that open field tackle. They can't. Little flat route turns into a big game. Beautiful design play, nice execution. Then we're down again, motioning over to a three by one. Here they come, heat you up a little bit. Now they lose the edge on the right side. And we're just going to, again, throw a little flat. Great play calling, great plan, great scheme. It's going to be fun to see. I think everybody wants to see, hopefully, a, a rematch of this in the playoffs. But they really, really did a nice job having a plan to take advantage of what the Patriots try to do offensively with all the man coverage, all the picks, all the zero, being able to get the ball out of Lamar Jackson's hand while moving the launch point for the quarterback. Now we're back in the red zone. Got all sorts of issues with matchups. There's just no good way. We're going to read the end down here to the bottom. Doesn't like it. And then this was just Lamar Jackson being Lamar Jackson, cutting back, running between the tackles. Just very few guys in the history of the league have ever been able to do this. Show it to you again here. We're going to read that defensive end to the left. He can't be right. I think Lamar Jackson should probably hand it off here. To me, that's a handoff. He pulls it. Going to play superhero ball, and he's a superhero right there. Darn near gets in the end zone. So... I loved seeing what the Ravens were able to do kind of with a package and being able to take advantage of his, of Lamar Jackson's skill set. He is throwing the ball well. They're not asking him to make a bunch of reads, huge chunk throws down the field, but the throws that they're asking him to do, he's doing at an extremely high level. And they're mixing in all these pick plays, these little creative ways to bootleg, change the launch point of the quarterback. But then at the end of the day, the thing that he does that just about nobody else in the league can do is run the rock at such a high level and is so fast and dynamic. It is a legit human joystick. And so it's just, there's no way you can prepare for that. There's no way you can kind of simulate that in practice he is just a freak among freaks and it's going to be really fun to see that kind of back and forth as the league tries to adjust adjust and catch up to what baltimore is doing because baltimore has the jump start they've got this great package they've got a uh, ridiculous talent at quarterback i think if i was a baltimore fan i would be uh, continue to be nervous about just the amount of hits he takes and running the ball is different than being a quarterback standing back there relaxed in the pocket and you get blindsided yeah that's not fun but the punishment and the pounding of multiple guys hitting you when you're running the rock the cumulative effect of that i don't know how you make it through a full season and an extended playoff run multiple years in a row it just seems like a ridiculously high risk thing, but you have to do it. They they they're building the entire franchise offensively around what he's able to do, his skill set, and there's nobody else like him. It's fun. I really had a fun time breaking it down. Hopefully, you enjoyed the video. If you haven't already, please subscribe, hit the bell, do everything you need to do. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate it. See you next time.